Because you have sustained a serious neck injury, the bones in your neck need to remain immobilized in order to heal correctly. A halo brace helps keep these neck bones in place while allowing you to move around and live as normally as possible. This video will help you and anybody who helps you take care of yourself learn about living with the brace. The information is only a guide. If you have further questions, talk to your doctor, nurse, or physical therapist. The bones in your neck are called vertebrae. They are stacked one on top of the other and create a protective tunnel for your spinal cord to run through up to your brain. But because you have a damaged vertebra, the weight of your head could cause the damaged bone to shift position and cause further damage to your spinal cord. The halo brace is designed to carry the weight of the head and keep those vertebrae in place to avoid the risk of further injury or paralysis. The brace consists of three parts. The vest is a plastic jacket that holds the halo ring in place and allows the weight of your head to be carried by your chest instead of your neck. It is lined with a soft wool or acrylic liner to keep you more comfortable and to prevent irritation of the skin underneath. The superstructure is the network of four rods that connect the vest to the halo ring along with the two head blocks that allow proper positioning and traction of your neck. The ring goes around your head and is held in place by four pins that attach to the outer layer of your skull. These places are called your pin sites. It is important to avoid bumping or applying pressure to the pin sites and to avoid infections. To help avoid infection, someone should clean around your pin sites at least once a day. Use a cotton-tipped swab dipped in either saline solution or hydrogen peroxide, depending on what your doctor orders. Gently push the skin away from the pin and remove any crust or scabs. Start at the pin and clean in circles. This will prevent infection by allowing the pin site to drain, and it will prevent scars from forming. Use a fresh swab on each pin site. Use another fresh swab to dry around each pin site. It is normal for the cleaning to be uncomfortable for the first few days, but within a week it will feel more like a tingle or a tickle. Do not use antibiotic or iodine creams or ointments unless your doctor tells you to. Call your doctor if you have any of these signs of infection. The pin site is painful to the touch. It looks red and puffy. It bleeds or has a runny discharge. A pin feels loose or shifts. It is extremely important that the vest fits snugly but allows you to breathe and move normally. Keep the vest liner dry at all times and do not remove it. If it gets wet, dry it with a hair dryer on a cool setting. If it gets dirty or develops an odor, call your doctor or nurse to ask about cleaning it or having a new liner put in. If you develop skin irritation under or around the vest, ask your doctor or nurse to trim it or put in extra padding. If the vest becomes too tight, too loose, or if you have trouble sitting or moving, you might need a new one. Keep the Allen wrench fastened to the vest at all times in case of emergency. Do not make any changes to the vest on your own. If you notice any loose screws on the vest, call your doctor for instructions. Taking care of your skin under the vest is important. Wipe your skin under the front and back of the vest every day, keeping the liner as dry as possible. Pantyhose makes a good cloth because you can get underneath the vest. Pantyhose is also the best thing to use if you itch under your vest. Wipe your skin to dry it and use a blow dryer on the cool setting to dry any extra moisture. Do not use powder, lotion, or soap because they could irritate your skin. Since you cannot remove your vest to bathe, you will need to protect it with plastic or towels to keep it dry and then take sponge baths or tub baths using just two or three inches of water. You should not take showers. You will quickly learn how to brush your teeth without bending over, using a cup of water with a straw to rinse. Washing your hair is a two-person job. Make sure your vest is protected with towels or plastic and then have your helper lather and rinse while you lay on the bed. The water will run down the plastic into the bucket. 
Use a gentle shampoo only. Do not use hair coloring, permanent curl solutions, or other hair treatments because the chemicals could infect or irritate your pin sites. After your hair is washed, the pin sites need to be cleaned. You may find yourself a little more tired than usual due to stress and the fact that your body is healing. Since your neck is protected, you can sleep any way that is comfortable. Adding a pillow under your head may feel better. When you get up, it will be easier to roll to one side and use your arms to lift up your upper body. If someone is helping you, ask her to lift your shoulders. Do not let anyone pull on the upright rods or the vest because it could move your neck out of alignment. Also, if you rise straight up like a sit-up, you put extra stress on your pin sides. You will want to wear a cotton undershirt under the vest to keep the liner clean and also because the liner is wool and may feel warm. It is easiest if you put Velcro on the straps. Your clothing needs to be large enough to go over the vest. You'll probably be more comfortable in shirts that are a few sizes larger than you normally wear. Button-up shirts or sweatshirts work the best. Sometimes you may need to cut slits for a better fit. In cold weather, you will need an oversized coat and a couple of scarves to keep you warm. Living with a halo changes your lifestyle in several ways. You need to be careful to locate a chair behind you before you sit down. You might find that you gain weight or lose weight. This is normal. It may be more comfortable if your plate is higher than normal. Swallowing will be hard at first. Make sure your food is cut into small pieces and chew thoroughly to avoid choking. If your vest becomes too tight or too loose, you should see your doctor or nurse to have it adjusted. You will find it less tiring to read or write if you put your materials on an incline. A music stand can be useful for holding a book or magazine. You will notice that the weight of the halo makes your balance different. This top-heavy feeling may take some getting used to to avoid falling down. It is a good idea to practice bending over and walking around. Do not lift or carry anything over 10 pounds. You'll find that you will need to learn to bend at the knees more often, and you will probably use handrails on stairs more than ever before. This is the time to wear low-heeled shoes with good traction. You might find yourself bumping into things at first because you are not used to the size of the halo and its bars, and also because it is harder to look down than it used to be. Riding in a car is safe, but it is better if you do not drive. In some states, you could get a ticket. To get in, sit sideways on the seat and slide back with your body bent forward. Then swing your legs around. It is very important to use a seat belt since any sudden jerks or stops could cause a problem with your pins. To get out of the car, swing your legs around and bend forward to get up. When your cervical spine has healed enough for your halo to be removed, your doctor will remove it at a normal office visit. It is a simple procedure, it is not painful, and it should take no more than 10 minutes. Your pin sites will probably look like a small cut, and you will be told to gently massage them yourself several times a day to prevent scarring. When the halo has been removed, your neck may feel very weak since it has not supported your head in some time. Because of this, you will be fitted for a neck collar to allow your neck some time to strengthen. This normally takes around two weeks. During this time especially, you will need to protect your neck. Wear your collar all the time. Do not lift anything over 15 pounds and do not strain. In an emergency, you will need to take special precautions. If your pins come loose or if you have trouble breathing, go to an emergency room or call 911 for help. In a medical emergency, the side waist buckles can be released and the vest can be folded back at the crease to expose your upper chest. Emergencies are rare. Your main concern is to prevent infection at your pin sites and to use common sense to prevent falls and injuries while you become used to wearing a halo brace. Some pain and discomfort is normal for the first few days you wear a halo. Your body will adjust to it. If the pain ever becomes severe, call your doctor and follow the advice of your doctor and nurse in caring for yourself so your neck can heal as quickly and as thoroughly as possible.